Hello, hello my crafty friend. We are back with more Cricut Design Space tutorials. Our tutorials that's based on our best-selling book, which is the Cricut Design Space tutorial style book where you can find all of these tutorials in beautiful written and screenshot step-by-steps. So have a look in the description below for this link, but for today, let's jump straight into this video. Hi, we have another very, very quick and short video, but this is such an awesomely cool trick that so many people don't know of. So I'm really excited to share it with you. Now, if you've bought the book, the, we are currently looking at page 28 and we're going to have a look at how you can have two windows open at the same time. Now, why would you want to have two Cricut Design Space windows open? Because if you've ever made something on Cricut Design Space, you know that some projects can take a long time to cut. And instead of sitting there waiting impatiently for it to cut, you can actually get going with your next design in a completely different window. And that way we can save some time. So you can cut on one window and you can create on a different window. So let's say, for example, I wanted to make this beautiful card. And I've got it open here. This is just one of the projects from Cricut Design Space. You can find all the details on page 28 if you want to make this card. What we can do is we can go to make it. So just like we normally would. And we can go through the process of picking all of our different bits and pieces. Now, I actually don't have my machine switched on. Let me see if I can switch it on. Okay, so just like you would normally do, you would pick your materials and all of your things. So if you're looking at the screen and you are not too sure what's going on here, there are some tutorials that looks at, in detail at exactly what each of these sections are about, how to use it, how to change things, etc. But for the sake of it, I really actually just want to show you what we're doing. So we can go ahead and we can pick all of our materials and our blades and we can get to the point where we can press go. Now my machine is going to start cutting out this beautiful card. And whilst it's doing that, because we've got a card that is so incredibly detailed, right? See how much detail there is? That's going to take a wee while for my machine to do. I can actually go up here to the left hand side, click on file and go to new window. And it's going to keep this window open in the back. And that's very important because as soon as we close that window, it will stop just talking to your machine and your machine will actually stop what it's doing. So we do not want to close this window. It needs to keep on passing on information to your machine about where the cut should go. But we can make a new window. Whoops, where am I? We can make a new window. So now I have two and on my new window, I can maximize it. And now I can start a whole brand new project. So my machine is still cutting in the background, but I can get going with the next one. So again, because that was quite fast, once you have already set everything up, your machine has just started cutting. Leave this one open, go to file, click on a new window. That will open up a second window for you. You can make it nice and large. And now you can work and design a whole brand new design. So I hope that was a really, really helpful tip. I use this a lot and I'm actually surprised at how many people don't actually even know that this exists in the first place. So that was page 28. All right. See ya.